Thanks, Book. I am coming to not apologize for what I said, but clarify what I said yesterday. Somebody, my friend girl, she works for the um, for the city, and my name, business name, alter ego, stage name, I guess you can call it, came across the phone. She wasn't calling me a mess like half you bitches do. You know when y'all call me and say, girl, so-and-so said this. And I listen. But guess what, bitch, in the back of my brain? I'm like, bitch, you let this motherfucker sit and talk about me? You know what I'm saying? So from now on, next bitch to come to me telling me that somebody else said something about me, I'm going to blast you and I'm going to blast them. I'm going to tag both y'all in it. How about that? But anywho, I was in my feelings, y'all, because I don't bother nobody. You know, I cook and I mind my business. I talk shit, but I talk true shit. I don't even talk. It's my truth. You know what I mean? So, I really was in my feelings yesterday for somebody to actually go that far to say certain stuff about me or even go and try to call somebody on me. One thing about me, I keep my paperwork right. You know, I love to cook, but business first. You know, I got contracts, I got my license, I got my insurance, I got everything I need. So, it's not like it was a problem or illegal or against food code for me to do what I did at the salon. Shout out to Mika Salon Dior for allowing me to come out and service y'all. And shout out to the other salons that I have on the roster uh, for the next, uh, for the remainder of the year. And shout out to Atlanta, Houston, and Shreveport to which I'll be going to before the end of the year. How about those apples? Call them and tell. But I came on here to say this too, y'all. Wait a minute. Y'all know everything I do is blue, baby. But anywho, I have my little flag on there, y'all, because I'm uh being patriotic for the uh for the election today. It really ain't no election. That's a damn uh, freestyle battle, like on Eight Mile and Hillary's uh Eminem. But anyway, I just really wanted to get on here really fast, y'all, and say that because my I was in my feelings yesterday, and I know I said fuck them and they dead people and they kids, and I meant that. Because I don't feel like it's right for people to try to go against the grain when they don't even know you. You know, I feel like a lot of times I'll be guilty by association for the people that I, con you know, communicate with or so forth on social media. Half these people that I kiki and joke with, I really do not know y'all. I'm telling y'all, I really do not know half these people that I associate with. So if you don't like somebody, that ain't got nothing to do with me. I don't know these people like that. Social media is for entertainment purposes only, and social media is a virtual world. I mean, talk about like national. You know what I mean? So stop coming for me, y'all, because y'all know I'm petty and I knock on doors. So just let me alone and let me be great and let me cook and mind my own business. I don't bother nobody. I wouldn't dare call and dry snitch on nobody. You know, people get their head knocked out their shoulders for stuff like that. You know, and I just feel like that was wrong because... I do good business, you know what I mean? I've had customers this grown, hell, who don't? And I that I really care because if I know I did everything in my power to appease the customer, then hey, it is what it is. I don't have that sign to say customers are always right. Uh-uh, not me. If I can fix it, I'll fix it. If not, I don't know what to tell you, baby. I'm not the only chef in the land. I am the best, but I'm not the only. But uh, I really appreciate everybody who rock with me and fuck with me. And the ones who don't, I'm, I ain't I ain't tripping. You know, God didn't intend for everybody to like everybody. He intended everybody to love everybody. You know what I mean? And love in a godly love. Not that old sis, I love you. Not that one. Not that Not that one, you know. The godly love. The way that you got to have a humanitarian type of love for everybody. You know what I mean? So, don't come to me with no bullshit about nobody else. Because I don't come to other people bullshit. You know, if you hear me talk about a bitch, you'll never see me with the bitch. Point blank, period. Anybody who know me know that. I will talk about a bitch, her kids, her dead people, her mama, her daddy, everybody. But I can guarantee you, you won't see me hashtagging this bitch talking about day one. Or my kinfolk. Or my bestie. Or my rider. Nope. Won't do it. Not me. Because if I don't like you, I don't like you. I don't play with it. If I don't fuck with you, I don't fuck with you. You know, people always want, whatever you know, you're going to lose a lot of customers with what you say. Well, bitch, they wasn't my customer. If they can't accept me, who the fuck I am? Bitch, because I can cook and I'm going to talk shit. And I'm going to talk you some real shit. I'm not disrespectful. I'm damn near 40 years old. So whatever the fuck come out my mouth, guess what? Oh, well, I'm not a child. I am an adult. So can't no other motherfucker chastise me for what I say. As long as I can cook. As long as I can do what the fuck I told you I was going to do and give you within the parameters of what 
what we agreed on and a little bit more because I always do. Don't, don't, don't come for me. Don't tell me how to talk. Don't tell me what to do. I'm grown. My mama can't tell me what the fuck to do. I don't cuss in front of my mama, of course, because I respect my mama and I respect my elders. I know how to cut it on and off. I know how to check somebody older than me. Hell, I know how to really check somebody my age or my peer and even younger. You know what I mean? People get on my nerve with that bullshit with me. Well, you know you that. Fuck you. How about those apples? Fuck you. Twice. So, you know, this is what you get when it comes to me. Anybody who know, I got, I, I will hug you and cuss you out at the same time. I, 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 I deal with all ethnicities of people, black, white. Mexicans, Chinamans, Africans, Indians, Taliban's, everybody. I deal with some of everybody because I love people. You know what I mean? I'm a cool ass chick. People who don't like me, that's because they own personal reasons or because they homegirl don't like me and they the homegirl too scared to say she don't like me or she got a dry beef with me. Tell me the reason why you don't like me because I talk shit. Oh well, because I cook better than you. Oh well, I have cooking classes. I would teach people how to cook. I love food. I, I would love for people to learn how to cook. That just amazes me, and it's so beautiful how you can go from a potato to maybe a Hasselback potato or maybe a beautiful uh, a potato souffle or anything. You can take a potato and make lots of things with it. I would love to show other people how to do it so you can eat and do the same things I do. So I don't understand where it be coming from. But I gave y'all damn near seven minutes of my time, and that's just too much. But I just want to, you know, pre tell the people that do fuck with me, I appreciate you for, you know, rocking with me and letting me be me because I can't be nobody but me. Well, you know, Devin, God going to open some doors. Bitch, God always open doors for me. I'm talking about why I'm cussing motherfuckers out. I get calls on the phone with money on the phone. So what is you saying? You know, I might not want to deal with Bible totals. I might not want to deal with people who think they better than somebody else. I might not want to deal with people who walk around with their nose stuck in the earth like they better than somebody else. I might not want to deal with you. I might not want to deal with you if you don't cuss, bitch, because I cuss. You know? Leave me alone. Quit fucking with me. Long as I can cook and enjoy my life and hug my trees, I don't have no problem. You know? How it, what people have to understand in this world is that What's for you is what's for you. What's not for you is not for you. People have to understand, you have to allow people to live the way they live. I used to always get mad at City Pool, my baby cousin, but for certain shit. But I even had to realize that you can't dictate how somebody else live. You can't dictate how somebody else go. Bitch, if you're not driving in no motherfucking building, you can't tell me how to drive one because you ain't driving one. Hell, you can't tell me how to fly a plane, bitch, if you ain't never, never sat in a plane. You know what I mean? I'm going to teach you how to get that money and be a million. I'm where your millions, bitch? Give me one of your millions, bitch. Since you got all the millions. You know, bitches trip me out. But anyway, y'all, I'm going to drink my coffee and wait on my bestie, McAllen, to come over because we're going to have blunts and booze and breakfast this morning. How about that? Yes, we is. And I'm going to cook her favorite. She love pork chops, y'all. I'm going to cook her some deep fried pork chops. I got some center cut pork chops that are really, really good. But anywho... I really, I, I, I fucks with y'all who fucks with me. You know what I mean? And if you don't fuck with me, I'm cool with it. If you want to fuck with me, I'm cool with it. My door is always open to everybody if you ain't on no fuck shit. We don't have to talk about other people. We can talk about, I love talking about food. We can talk about food. We can talk about our goals, our dreams. We can talk about all types of shit. We ain't got to talk about other people. Unless you don't like the bitch and I don't like the bitch. We can talk about it all day. You hear me? Nigga or bitch, whichever. We can talk about her all day. And nigga and bitch is a figure of speech, y'all. Don't get all in your feelings. You a woman and you use the word bitch and hoe. So, God, it's a figure of speech. And it's a lot of y'all are hoes. Not hoes. Whores. How about that? Whores. W-H-O-R-E-S. Whores. Yes. So, and men can be hoes too. Whores too. But, uh, y'all enjoy y'all Tuesday. Make sure y'all go out and vote. I didn't because I can't. Mine don't matter. And everybody know why mine don't matter. Because we all got them eight numbers behind us, some seven, some ten, who was there early, early on. But anywho, y'all enjoy y'all Tuesday. Make this a terrific Tuesday. Um, and enjoy life, because life is really, really good. You know, God wakes up, up, as long as God wakes you up every morning, you got a chance to conquer a new day. How about that? You know, I talk shit and all that good shit, but me and God, we like this. That's my, say, that's my nigga. We is absolutely... I'm talking about super glue type. You can't separate us. So don't judge me while 
when you don't really know me. You know what I mean? I like to cook. I like to talk shit. I like to, you know, do my medicinals with my tree hugging. That's what I do. And that's what I'm going to always do. I'm never going to change me. I feel like what the problem is, a lot of people who got their issues with me is they afraid to be themselves. They afraid to talk shit. They afraid to express how they feel. Some shit I ain't going to lie, I do need to keep in because I, I just fly off sometimes and talk about people and be like, oh, I bet I hurt her feelings. You know what I mean? So I can be more you know, cautious with some of the stuff I say toward people, but I'm going to be me. I'm not going to mask myself because somebody feel like whatever, you know, you can grab more people if you do this. No, bitch, I don't want to grab them people because apparently those people are not for me.